Today in this video, what we're gonna cover is parking lot versus street riding, maintaining your confidence. Yeah. Everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. I'm Kate. And like I said before, we're gonna cover parking lot riding versus real world street riding. Kind of windy out your here today. Parking lot practice to the streets. And getting that confidence up. Yeah. We do a lot of parking lot practice with a lot of individuals, and sometimes we'll go back and ride with them and it seemed like they lost everything that they perfected in the parking lot. So when you get your parking lot level, your slow riding level at a higher level, you gotta maintain that confidence. What we're gonna do is hop on the bikes and show you what- put my gear on first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> show you what we do to maintain a higher level of confidence. When we're riding across country, we don't lose no confidence. We at a higher level of confidence. There's a difference between confidence and arrogant. So we're gonna show you that we're going to go to four different locations and show you what we do at each one of those locations to keep our confidence level at a high and level. Keep it up after practice. We're going to do what we did in the parking lot and take it to the street with the real cars and not cones. So yeah. that way you know, don't look at that car. You look where you want to go. Yeah, we're going to do it safely too. We're in a lot right now. There's a rider practicing his wheelies and everything right now. So we're going to cut this part short get on the bikes after we gear up all the gear all the time and show you what we're talking about we're gonna show you this rider when he come by oh he ain't make it yet here you go and that's what you do practice in a controlled environment so let us get on our bikes we're gonna bring you out to what we do to keep our confidence level up. Cause you know, you became an expert in that lot, but you gotta maintain that high level when you get out on the street. Okay, we all geared up on our bikes, just leaving the parking lot, going through this gravel. And we're gonna show you exactly what we do to maintain our confidence. Since we already just left the parking lot and our confidence level is up, muscle memory is there. We've done a couple of things in the park lot. You know, you got your U-turns down. You're doing your sharp right and left turn. You're making your U-turn from the stop. Then you get out here and hit a side street. And you say, uh-oh, this street, I don't know how wide the street is. It might not be a 24. And you're kind of concerned about getting a U-turn. So this is what we're going to do. When this our turn green, we're going to make this left turn cake. <laughs> and hit this side street here. And do a couple of U-turns. And this is real world situation. Even though there might not be no traffic on this side street, in any situation, you make sure traffic clear before you start your U-turn. So we're gonna go down here. Hey, a couple of humps. <laughs> Let's ride it to the end and see where the end come. We're gonna ride, right. it, to the, ride it to the end and uh, see what happens. So we do this, we just come from this parking lot. We normally do it on a different side street. We just want to come on a side street that we've never been on before. So this one got like a roller coaster. Hey, jet skis. <laughs> this is like a roller coaster. And just by eyeballing it, I can say this street is probably about 24 even. And it's a double yellow line. So right. I will go to that limit line on the right and start my U-turn. A quick head turn. And I aim for the double yellow line right here. And I know, I mean, I hit the double yellow line. But at least I know, or I go out to a second street. But at least I know that I can make that U-turn without going overboard. So... Let's cross these train track and just make a U-turn here. Okay, okay, I've decided I want to make a U-turn. I'm checking my mirrors, everything clear. All the thing behind me is cake. I'm going to slow down, cross the tracks, slow down, get all the way to this edge right here. I'm in first gear. I'm going to do a quick head turn, checking my mirrors, no traffic coming from the front or back. Get to that, that right edge, look, aim for that, and do my U-turn like I normally would do my U-turn and complete them. Hold on, cake, don't do it yet. Oh, I just done it. Okay, continue. <laughs> I'm going to do another one, cake. You just stand by, and I'm going to let catch you on camera you see you don't have to go line a line you can do it short if you want so that's what we normally do we both do u-turns and uh and that's our, our first session go ahead okay, do yours and you can see she's gonna go line a line do a quick head turn and she's gonna come do the u-turn lean the bike look at where she want to go and completed her u-turn so we're gonna go to section number two so we're gonna go to our second area that we normally do to maintain our confidence. Okay, we're pulling up to our second location now. And, turn in and, here. Yeah, whichever way you wanna turn. And when uh, 
wherever you are in part of the country, our second location is normally a major shopping center and a busier, the better. In this case, this Walmart is extremely busy. And what we do, we try to ride down, let me get in front, Kate. We get, we get in a front, ride front. all the way down the strip in front of all pedestrians. And the purpose of this is to practice what we just learned and a lot, our slow skill riding. So as soon as I make this left turn, we're gonna head down here, and this is a busy Walmart. Well, our luck, <laughs> look, our luck, <laughs> there's nobody walking. Normally, every time we come down here at this one, there's people all over the place. So the ob yep. object is to practice your slow skill riding right here without putting your foot off the pegs or your floorboards, keeping everything up and not obviously not hitting pedestrians hey, i got a lot of people coming like this guy not paying attention he stopped in the middle i don't have to put my foot down if you look at me i just wave him through i look like jamal mm -hmm. <laughs> i just wave him through and another one just crossing and that's where we ride not stopping not putting our feet down now obviously you got to stop you stop more people passing through this is perfect day i mean normally there's a lot more than this and once we complete that, what we do next, Cake? You're gonna make a left turn at the next one. Okay, we're gonna be making this left turn, and Cake gonna explain what we're doing when we turn in here. And we're just riding down here. We're actually not looking for a parking spot, so let's talk about what we do when we come down here. Okay, we're looking for reverse lights, brake lights, mm -hmm. little kids running out, breaking away from their parents, mm -hmm. shopping carts, you know, just to make sure so keep your eyes left and right, left and right. Yeah, this keep this moving, drill. Panning it. Exactly. Yeah. This drill is more of an awareness drill. We're not looking for a parking space at all. Right. And you want to look for a parking space, make sure it's not where the cart is. Yes. <clears throat> and that's that's basically what we yeah. do in our our second. We're gonna go left to the turn. third left turn. Copy that. Yeah. Actually, we, I can show them one thing also. Like when I done a video about parking in the space. If I to park back here and I want to park where that cart is, and I want to back up evenly, like in the video, I start making my turn right one before, and I got the bike going standing straight up. Make that turn, complete that turn right there. And if I was to park in there, all I have to do is back straight up. I'm not on an angle or anything. But let me right. let me turn right here because this is one way, <laughs> so we can head out. Good turn, good turn. So we're gonna head that's where that practice come in. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna head to the that's the second location, the third location. Now we don't do all four locations every single time we do parking lot practice. No. We just do it depending on where we're doing our parking lot practice. Sometimes we'll do one or two locations. So we're gonna head on over to the third location right after I get through this traffic. Let me pull up because people act like they don't see me and I want them to see me as much as I see them you want to be seen want to be seen can't be heard so if you, you got a busy if you have a busy shopping center where you are that's a great drill to really practice your slow skill riding go in that shopping center and the, your object of that is keeping your feet up staying in a friction zone riding straight sitting up on your bike head on a swivel then you go down a parking lot and watching for everything. This is what we do to keep our confidence up. So right now we're gonna bring you guys to our third location. Okay, we're coming up on our next location that we always try to do. It's a little further up there, but we always try to find the busiest, extreme busiest gas station that we can find. Right. As you know, as you know, gas <laughs> station can be hectic. Everybody try to rush to get to the pumps. Nobody paying attention. And it does a couple things. It keep us on our slow maneuver, friction zone, awareness, all these things at the same time. And and we normally go to a separate pump, but if we need gas, then we go to one pump. So we're just gonna go to a separate pump right now. And as you can see, hopefully this gas station is busy like it always is. It's one of the busiest ones we ever run into. People are all over the place. So I'm gonna go find a pump that's open cake. You pick one and I'm gonna pick another one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the left. Okay, I, I see one in front of that car to my left. Yeah. And normally, normally we just go here, park in front of a pump, and then we'll leave. But since yep. this was pretty easy, let me see, could I find it? Make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, like that car coming in right there. Yeah. If I was trying to get to that gas station, that pump, he would beat me to it because he wasn't paying attention. 
and see how she's not paying attention. She's not looking. Yep, and him over to his head left. Head down, but they're pumping gas, so I can go on around it. This is actually our third location, too. The third location? Yeah. So, and so now we're right here. There. I'm going to turn around because I do need some gas. You need gas? All right, then I'll come yeah. back around. Look at that car backing out to my left, my right. And this is why we do gas stations because yeah, they're they always busy. Just pick another one, baby, because I'm, I'm, I'm not at that one anymore. All right. And look I'm at this car coming fast one. around here trying to beat somebody and to he's coming drop. up to the one way I wanted to pull in at. And he thought, I'm going to go around. Okay, then I'll probably beat you to the next spot. Or oh, if you get to the spot before me, let me know. <laughs> right. I'm just going right here, right where okay. I said I was going. All right. And there's a car coming in this way. Look, not even paying attention. Would have ran into me if I was headed out. I'm yep. making you turn right quick and come where you were. Okay, I'm I see you. far away from the pump. I see you. I, tight, I turned tight in there. Now, we don't do this when we get in regular gas. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we just do it right. now to, to demonstrate how busy this thing could be. So after this one, well, we're going to pump up here, but after this, we're going to go to our final location and hope you guys enjoying the video so far. So we're going to pump. Okay, we headed into our last and final location that we're going to bring you guys today. And if you have this in your area, definitely take advantage of it. We just happen to be fortunate in the area we live, they're building new housing. So what we're doing is going into new housing development and taking advantage of the streets. Now, one location you want to take, stay away from, I'm going to turn right, Cake you want to stay away from is the construction zones because of all the nails that may be dropped down there but now we talking about real streets even though there's no traffic in this area you get to do u-turns on real streets matter of fact i'm gonna do u-turn on this big street here kick with this divider and i like doing u-turns with dividers because they give you something to aim for i'm gonna do one here and then uh we go back and go in a regular area to start doing them now, what Cake and I normally would do, she'll go just take one location and do U-turns, figure eights, or what she's going to do. it, And I'll go to another location and do mine. We're normally not next to each other when we're doing this. And this normally takes us, what, less than a minute to complete a couple of them, Cake? Less than a minute. We'll do this U-turn again. And then we're just going to go back in the area by the streets. Now, us showing this video is actually taking longer than we would normally do it when we come to this area. And this is not just this area. This just happened to be close to the lot that we just used. So I'm gonna go down here. It look like a big wide intersection right here. So Kick, you can go wherever you wanna go. I'm gonna make this uh, right turn because I see it's a dead end. And then give me an opportunity to make a U-turn so I can do a sharp right turn. And I go, uh-oh, dead end. I have to do a U-turn. Now I gotta make it sharper because this big truck right here. I'm gonna go straight and turn by where some cars are on the... Okay. All right, I'm going to do some circles in this big intersection right quick. And this is basically what we do. We talk to each other and find out who's doing what, where we are. And this is a huge street. Most residential streets are 36 feet wide. So instead of doing it on 24 feet, you're doing big giant 30 feet, 36 feet U turns and turns. Where are you, baby? I thought I saw you. Well, I'm not in contact with her. Well, here we go, like a curve right here. This is what we practice when we practice in curves, cornering. I'm gonna do it here because that corner had a curve, a blind curve, and I couldn't see any cars coming. So I'm just going to make my U-turn right here. I see Rich back there. <laughs> and this is a wide, wide street. Yes, we can make it the big curve. Yes. And you could even do... He's looking at us. Make a circle real quick, see? Stay in your friction zone, throttle through, and come on out. There's Rich again. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done here. <laughs> Let's now, go ahead to. Okay, this yeah. is the last location, right? This is the last location. Okay, then. There you have it, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You know, we you have it, but we don't do it in any particular order. But right now, this is our last location that we're gonna do. Yeah, you're right. So, so. Yeah. 
we just used four locations and obviously the one with the side street the first one with the side street second one was yeah. was today was well, a busy parking lot walmart yeah. parking lot and the third one was the a busy the, gas station busy gas i love station. that one yeah. and then as you got right. an open street because most residential streets are just this wide and you have to make them this wide so They're cars wide. could park on either side just in case you have to make a u-turn in between cars like i did right. over there by that big truck you did it over there by so, the big truck? I didn't do it because of that corner right there where I wanted to make the U-turn at. It's a yes, blind corner, so I didn't want to be making no U-turn or no circles or doing anything and a, a car come around there and don't All right. see me. So we're going to wrap it up. So always put safety So we're going to wrap it up right here. So go ahead on and get out there and keep your, like, like Cake just said, always put safety first. But go out right. there and practice on the street in real world riding, riding what you've done in the parking lot and you're going to always maintain that higher level of confidence we ride across the country we make wrong turns we're not worried about walking our bike around we're not worried about what's in our way we're looking where we want to go we're doing everything in a friction zone and this is what you do when you out practicing so when you're out practicing goes directly from your practice and put it into reality that's all i have to add exactly. you have anything else there no that's all that's all you did just about yeah everything. so if you're out riding today remember ride long ride hard ride strong but most importantly ride safe from boosting jeans riders i'm rich and i'm cake and we out peace, peace.